Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. I am the lady and today I'm going to continue the leveling video and this will be from level 8 till about level 12. And it's also the day that we're going to visit New York, Emerald Lake. Now uh, I tried to do a vid on uh, my uh, low level accounts but it didn't work, something went wrong and now both accounts are uh, nearly out of money so that's why I'm doing this video with my premium uh, with my main account um, it, it's not very different uh, the only thing that will be different is the experience uh, I get 50% more experience but um, as we're going to fish I'll show you guys what XP uh, you can get uh, just divide the number by 2 and then uh, you're good to go okay so New York New York needs 4 things and those are time, money, the biggest fish net you can have, and spoons in all kinds of colors. Um, first off, let's start with the fish net. Now, if you've um, seen my uh, video uh, before going to New York, you already know what I'm going to talk about. If you haven't, shame on you, go watch that video. But here I'll explain it in short once more. Um, uh, to fish in New York, New York is very expensive. Uh, to fish there for the first day alone is going to cost you 250 bucks. Um, and um, so if you are there, you really need to fill your stringer. And with the current stringer that you guys are having, it's the level 6 stringer. You can only fill it up to 8 kilograms per day. Uh, it basically means you have to fish in New York for 3 days straight before you're going to make any profit. Um, so that's why I've advised you guys in the previous vid to uh, purchase this one. It's the Fish Castle Keep Net. Uh, I know that it costs gold. Uh, I'm highly aware of that. And uh, But as you level up you get gold currency uh, and also by doing achievements you will be getting uh, gold. Like uh, here the Saint achievement. Um, if you release ten fish in a row, <coughs> excuse me. If you release ten fish in a row, you get two golden coins. If you uh, release twenty fish in a row, you get five gold coins. And if you release fifty fish in a row, I think it was something like ten or twelve gold coins. So that's very easy to get. Um, also, the devoted um, just uh, log on every uh, uh, once a day, uh, catch one fish. And by day 5 you get a reward of gold coins, by day 10 you get a reward and then by day 30 you get a reward as well. Now there's also uh, other stuff, other achievements you can do like a catfish master. Um, this one you need to uh, catch 50 catfish in total and your reward will be 7 gold coins. So it's um, it's easy to to uh, earn uh, earn yourself some gold. Also, of course, um, uh, in Missouri you can grind uh, unique bluegills. It's on sunny days between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Um, fish with this setup here that I'm having: uh, Telefloat 650 in Spycast 2000, Mono Open 18 line, a hook, uh, a slim bobber, hook number four and flies you can catch these uh, get these on level four and the leader set to 52 now if you want to watch a video about it um i have a vid about it it's on my channel it's um, catching a unique bluegill with maggots it's the same principle uh, but instead of maggots you be using flies because flies are more reliable so anyways uh back to where we were um so the Fish castle keep net, it's a um, must have, well sort of a must have. Um, if you're level uh, 12, you can purchase this one, the fish hut keep net M, and that will do the job as well for you. Um, simply, uh, you only have to fish for a day and a half with this one, and with uh, this one too, to cover all the expenses. Um, it means you really need to stretch it, fill it up all the way every single day don't uh, put in like two or three fish and then uh, move on to the next day really fill it up and only then will you make a profit so that's uh, about um, money wise well not uh, not the whole story about money but at least uh, 
the the fish net wise and uh, time wise you need to be sure to spend at least with this one and with the level 12 two days in New York and with this one at least three days in New York um, in a row so uh, mind that now the other thing that I mentioned is money and it's pretty simple it's going to cost you 250 bucks for day one which includes the travel cost the day that you're staying there which is a total of 180 now and then there's also the licenses for New York the basic license uh, one real life day know that it's a real life day it costs you 30 bucks and but you uh, can't keep nearly anything or you have to take something whereas the advanced license uh, there are no restrictions whatsoever so you need both of these and um, combined it's 70 bucks and then with the total of 180 you come to 250 bucks now uh, be a smart uh, smart guy a smart gal if you want to go to New York make sure that you have at least 500 bucks to cover the expenses uh, real life can always interfere with, uh, with uh, gaming, of course. So when you're going to New York and for some reason you have to cut your your uh, stay there short, you'll only lose the maximum of 250 bucks, and so you still have 250 bucks left uh, that you can grind back up in either Missouri or in Texas. So um, don't go to New York if you're under 200, uh, under the 500 bucks. Also, because in New York uh, you will lose a couple of spoons. It is going to happen. Uh, so that makes it even more expensive to replace those. And also, if you're not careful enough, you can break your reel. And as you know by now, reels can be pretty expensive. So that's uh, the whole talk. Let's uh, go to uh, to New York and I'll show you guys around. Mm. Almost there. All right. So, here we are. There's uh, two spots that you can uh, fish on. The first one is the Midland Charm and secondly, we have the Dog of Peace. Now, there's also as you can see a road between those but unlike in Missouri and in Texas if you follow the road you won't end up here or there uh, when you're here on the crossroad uh, you'll get back to this map and then have to uh, choose where, uh, where you want to go um, first off let's go here and let's see today it's a sunny day okay cool And here we are. Now, uh, let me fast forward time for you guys so you can actually see something. Come on, yes. Now, if you guys uh, might remember, this is the exact same place where you started with the tutorial. So you walked up here and you had to cast out your uh, gear three times. And then you walked towards the dock and you had to cast it out another time right there then you had to uh, switch leader depth with the OMP button and then you got your first trophy a uh, black crappy it was so um, that's exactly the point that we are standing right now this is Midland Charm uh, as you can see it's a pretty big lake that, uh, that you can fish in I really hope that someday we'll get some more uh, places, maybe over there by the rocks, that will be a great uh, spot. Or also um, here behind the tree, there's a whole line of reeds going there. Um, I'll show you guys when we're at the dock. But okay, so uh, first off, um, let's see, oh I forgot to talk uh, to you guys completely about the spoons, my bad, sorry. So um, here are the spoons that I'm uh, taking with me right now and I see that I forgot to bring me a couple of narrow spoons as well, shame on me. Anyways, the spoons, uh, so uh, the most type of fish that you can fish here is pike. There are uh, different kinds of pike here, there's grass pickerel, there's chain pickerel, uh, northern um, pike is here as well. 
and uh, Redfin Pickerel is here too. So all uh, all nice uh, great fish, and uh, they're true predators, and they love chasing spoons. So um, this is basically the spoons that you're going to need, except for, as I just said, I forgot the narrow spoons. Uh, let's see if they're selling it here. No, they're not. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause the video uh, simply because we need uh, the narrow spoons. Oh no. Let's uh, hold on. Yes, I know. I'm going to lose uh, 180. Ouch. Let's quickly hop to the store at the home. Grab me a couple of lures. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright. Just scroll it. So it's 250 bucks or 180 bucks down the drain. Oh wait, I already had them. It says cool. Awesome. Uh, nano, here we go. You want that one and that one too. Um, yeah, I'm also going to bring those two. Okay, back to New York. Here we go. I hope this uh, video isn't going to be too long for you guys. Uh, my apologies on that in advance. Um, but what I always like to do is to be thorough in my uh, explanation. Um, I've noticed quite a lot of videos that don't uh, give you the exact details on what you need to know. And it's something that I uh, very much like to provide to you guys. Anyways, so here we are back again. And we were talking about spoons. So here we go. As you can see I brought all kinds of colors with me. And then of course uh, uh, all different types. Now there's also uh, 3.0 of course and end up. But for now we're sticking with uh, 2.0 uh, as the biggest and just the number one as the smallest um, medium spoons these work great for uh, walleye as do the narrow spoons they work great for uh, walleye too um, so that's the reason that I uh, brought them and that I uh, hopped uh, back home and uh, here again um, okay so for pike uh, the general rule is the brighter the day the brighter the spoon or the lighter the spoon and it has to, uh, to do with the color so if it's very sunny go for something like uh, the silver or the bright yellow with the red dots on it and if it's like a rainy day and it trust me it can pour here like crazy then uh, try the gold one or the red with silver now uh, it's also and given that uh, the pike like to change their uh, flavor so one day you catch everything with uh, the spoon and then the next day exactly the same conditions nothing bites so that's why you need to bring a combination of color of spoons with you uh, to make sure that if one spoon doesn't work you can try a different one um, and I really encourage you guys to, uh, to do this to, to bring different colors of spoons with you and to try them out now as for walleye, you can see here the narrow spoons, uh, when you reach level 10, I believe, you can uh, purchase this one, the dark black one and the purple one. Now the purple one is great for during the day, for, uh, for sunny days, uh, whereas the dark one is great for, um, for the rainy days. But when you start, you don't uh, have these two, you can only uh, use these two, and same goes for medium spoons. Um, these two you can only get at level 9, whereas these two you can already get at level 8. So that's uh, basically it. Um, so the casting spoons and the medium spoons are for pike and perch, and then the medium and narrow spoons are for walleye. Okay, let's head back. Enough with the theory. Okay, so here uh, Midland Charm, first uh, spot. Uh, you can fish in if you go stand all the way to the left next to the dead tree then here's where you can uh, catch, uh, catch pickerel uh, grass pickerel uh, yellow perch as well 
and if you cast over here and realign back in just along the dock you can also get uh, uh, young northern pike as well and again some uh, grass pickerel and yellow perch now if you were to stand all the way on this side uh, to the right and if you go a little bit like this and here I'm um, it's not really you can't really see it well right now but here's a patch of lily pads if you cast just alongside it or a little bit behind it you can catch redfin pickerel and then there's also yellow perch you can catch like yellow perch nearly everywhere and there's the trophy grass pickerel and uh, the standard uh, grass pickerel and a couple of chain pikes as well now this spot is also very um, very interesting for those of you that want to uh, go after walleye and the reason for that is uh, there used to be the hot spot uh, that you can reach on the dock but you had to cast out like 67 meters and um, there was a trick to do that but it doesn't work anymore so it's currently a spot that can't be reached so this is the new spot uh, it already existed but nearly uh, not everybody knew about it but anyways this is a new spot uh, the walleye are behind here but if you're on a low level gear as I am right now uh, you'll have trouble battling these lily pads over here and they might break your gear not every time if you have your real speed on free like I have right now nine times out of ten it goes okay but not every time so what you need to do is you still need to cast out as far as possible and this only works on your spin uh, spinning rod. This won't work with your casting rod. I'll uh, show you guys the setup later. But with your spinning rod, cast all the way just a little right there. So here's the edge of the lily pads. And then if you cast all the way there, you'll make sure that when you reel in your line, you won't get snagged here by the lily pads. And uh, here at this spot, it's about uh, 50 meters out. Let me check. Here we go. Yeah, it's 50 meters exactly that I can reach right now. And it's also the setup that you guys can use at level 8. So uh, this is where the walleye is. And it's from 50 till about uh, 32 meters. Now I'm going to reel this uh, fast in again. Because right now it's not the time for walleye. On sunny days for walleye fish between 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning and between 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. in the evening so that's the the time the walleyes uh, are around um, and I know that you guys have medium spoons right now um, but if you're level 8 don't go with the silver or red medium spoon but use the narrow spoons for some reason I can't get a walleye on this level, level uh, 8, with um, these two type of spoons, which is very strange because at level 9 if you use this one, it's like a guarantee walleye hitter, so it's weapon X for the walleyes. So I have no idea why I can't uh, catch them, uh, maybe it's a bug or it's something else. But anyways, use the narrow spoons for the walleye, that will do. Okay, so um, that basically covers this. Uh, spot now if you want to go for a panfish then of course it's uh, over here now there's not very much current here in the water so you don't need to worry about your bobber just uh, use a oval one or a uh, slim slim bobber works too and same goes for here of course watch out for uh, the dead tree on that side and then the dead tree on this side so um, that's it let's go to the dock and there we go here we are at the dock okay now for those of you that want to go after trophy chain uh, pickerel and unique chain pickerel there's unique chain pickerel here as well um, if you catch it congratulations because you just earned yourself 21 or 23 gold um, <coughs> Excuse me. 
and they are right over here where I've highlighted it. It's uh, the furthest you can cast out currently with uh, the setup that I'm using. So um, they're right here. Know that uh, both the chain pickerel as well as the northern pike, they like to linger around here, like around these uh, reeds. They pull like a freight train. And especially when you're level 8 or level 9, um, simply your gear can't handle every fish. Um, it's, a, it's just a fact and it's a, it has cost me a lot of lures and a lot of broken lines and even a reel. Um, simply because when uh, you hook up a, a either a trophy chain uh, pickerel or a unique one, they go over the 2 uh, kilogram um, no, 1.7 and then here the northern pike they also go from 1.7, 1.8 to over 2 kilograms and they really pull like freaking mad dogs. Uh, what they do is they'll run off your lion like crazy and there's completely nothing that you can do. Now when that happens, um, I'm going to fish in a, in a while, uh, pause the vid, uh, but if it's going to happen to me as well on this, uh, with this gear, I'll show you guys. Um, just for the sake of it, and just to warn you that when it happens, hit your B button. It breaks your line, but at least you'll still have your reel uh, without le with less damage, at least. Uh, then if you're going to let it run off completely, uh, then it, uh, it takes away your reel. So, anyways, uh, chain pike and unique chain pike and trophy chain pike, they are over here. Uh, for this you can't cast out, just uh, behind the lily pads and reel back in. Um, here is then where the red fin uh, pickerel is and if you come over here it's where uh, the yellow perch are and sometimes also the young northern pike. It's a bit like, well not like that but uh, if you take it from there from the rocks it's a bit like this and how it goes as far as the uh, young northern pike. So uh, underneath here you'll find yourself a bunch of snacks if you're not uh, very careful. That's also why we brought a casting rod. And then let's go continue with the northern pike. Now with the spinning rod you can cast all the way out there. Let me see if I'm, uh, I'm on not on the edge. Always make sure you're on the edge. It gives you uh, a couple of meters more. So with it you can cast all the way over here. Now notice that I'm currently using a spoon, 7 gram. And I'll show you guys the difference. Because this one, here we go. It catches up to 50 meters. Now I'm going to reel back in. Ugh, it always takes so much time. So that was the 7 gram spoon. Whereas the, say here, 2.0, it's the 14 gram spoon. And if we were to cast this one out, let's see that you can cast out further. And that has everything to do with the weight of the lure. So it's uh, 53, so that's 3 extra meters. And already I have myself a snack. So I'll just uh, show you guys. Now uh, catching any fish here, well except for the panda fish, um, what you'll do is uh, what we've always done is uh, stop and go. So you tap the left mouse button, you hold it for a second, and you release it and wait for a second. Uh, I was too late on that one. So you hold it for a second, you wait for a second. You hold it for a second, you wait for a second. And that's just basically it. That's uh, with every uh, type of fish that's out here. 
you can uh, can catch them with just that uh, technique. Now there are of course different types of uh, techniques. Lift and drop is another one. Um, I will explain that in a different video where I, when I'm uh, going to talk about the uh, uh, all kinds of uh, of techniques here. But um, so for walleye, stop and go. For the chain pike, stop and go. For redfin uh, pickerel, stop and go. And for northern pike as well, stop and go. Now I forgot to tell you guys the time for the northern the chain pike. It's on sunny days from noon until say 4 p.m., which is uh, the hot time, the hot zone. And the happy hour for the northern pike. It starts a little bit later. It starts 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and then it goes all the way up to 9 p.m. in the afternoon. So, um, or in the evening, actually. So uh, that's uh, for the northern pike. But now uh, we're close to 11 a.m. You can already catch them, but if you will, you uh, you'll start to catch uh, young ones first, and then the bigger ones later. So um, I'm. Um, I think I've covered nearly everything. So what you need to do is um, find the holes in between the reeds. Like here's one. Then you can see there's one here as well. So those are great places that the uh, pike like uh, to hide. Right, the setup. That's something you guys want to know as well. So here we go. So first off I have this one with me. Um, we're currently not going to use this. Um, you can uh, hook pike with uh, floating uh, gear, but uh, right now we just lack uh, the type of bait that we need for it. So um, just uh, ignore this one or take it with you if you go to uh, Missouri. So here we go, the casting rod. Uh, what I've done is uh, I brought with me the just a 190. And uh, you can purchase it at level 8 uh, along with the just a uh, 170. But the difference with, uh, between those two is that the Jester 190 has a length of 1.9 meters, whereas the Jester 170 has a length of 1.7 meters. And it's very basic. Uh, we need the more meters to cast out. With the Jester 170, you can't cast, cast out as far as with a Jester 190. So that's why we're taking this one with us. Then I've purchased Lodex 1000S. Um, it's uh, the second um, uh, casting reel that you can purchase with common currency. Um, if you watched the previous vids, you know that I'm not a big fan of the Felix. So uh, I'm taking this one with me. It has a max drag of 3. Um, because Pike are, uh, as I said, uh, pulling like a freight train, we like to have a line with us that can have some extra damage to it. Uh, so for this one I'm going with the Braid 015 and as you guys can see here it has a test of 2.7 kilograms. So setup wise this is a good setup. Uh, the jest can hold up to 5.2 kilograms, the uh, reel up to 3 kilograms and then the Braid, the line up to 2.7 kilograms. So this is fine. You can catch nearly every fish with it. That's uh, perfect. And then the spin um, or spinning rod. Um, I've taken the value spin to 30, now there's also a value spin to 60, but the difference is the lure weight with that, because the value spin to 60 can only handle lure weight up to 10, uh, starting at 10 grams. Whereas most of our lures, uh, apart from the 2.0s, are 7 grams. So you see here the 1.0 uh, casting spoon, the medium casting spoons and narrow spoons. They can only hold 7 grams. So, um, or the weigh only 7 grams, sorry. So the value spin 260 can't handle those, it's uh, too light. So that's why we're taking the value spin 230 with us. Then I've bought the Clisto XS 1400, uh, simply because it has the highest drag for a spinning reel uh, that you can have right now, apart from gold currency of course, but we're going with common currency. And here I've opted also for the braided line, uh, the 0.12. As you can see it has a test of 1.8 kilograms. Which for the northern pike isn't very much, because it can easily reach 2 kilograms. And same goes for the chain, uh, unique chain and trophy chain uh, pike pickerels. So, um, but that's the setup. And then for penfish, 
you can bring your starter rod with the Inspirecast 2000, it has a max drag of 1.6. Uh, simple mono 0.18 line with, which has a test of 1.4 kilograms. Uh, hook number 4 or number 6 is fine. Uh, I'm currently having this setup because it's for catching uh, unique bluegills in Missouri. But just add some, uh, let's see, dough balls is great to catch uh, crappy and um, red worms of course as well. So you can now uh, use uh, those for uh, for the crappy flies work too, by the way. But uh, it's better if you go with uh, dough balls or red worms. So um, uh, now I've forgot one thing. Um, perch can also be uh, caught on uh, float fishing, and so I'll show you guys a spot. Here we go, no, I do have flies on it right now. Um, make sure you stand all the way to the back on uh, the dock. Simply because uh, the rod is uh, very big and otherwise your uh, cast will go uh, again, slam against the dock and you can't cast out. Stand all the way in the back. And then here is where you can catch them. Well, generally in this, this whole area. Uh, and here is where you caught the trophy black crappy during the tutorial. So here's black uh, crappy as well and the trophy ones but also perch. And if you're fishing with red worms the perch will catch the red worms. Um, I think you can also catch them with pet food so that's something you could try out uh, as well. And I'm not seeing something typically perch. But I have caught them with red worms, I have caught them with uh, pet food. Um, and I will check uh, the other baits in a, in a while to see uh, what uh, what we can uh, what the perch loves. But anyways, you'll catch enough perch when, uh, when you come fishing here, even if you're going after the pike. So right now I'm going to pause the video. Uh, I'm going to fish a little and then show you guys uh, the catches so you can see how much uh, you get for something and how much experience it, uh, it gives you. Um, as said, uh, keep in mind that you're, if you start here at level 8 or level 9, some fish are just too big for you. It's not like uh, how things go in Missouri, where like uh, only 1 out of 10 fish runs off. Here it's more frequently uh, that's happening. Also, keep in mind that um, unlike in Missouri, if you were going after catfish or bass, um, here the pike don't bite every single time. So uh, I see a lot of guys complaining in the chat uh, when they don't uh, don't get a bite like after two or three casts. Uh, don't worry if you catch like uh, two bites out of five casts you're doing it okay. Now if you cast in ten times in a row and you get nothing then it is time for you to switch uh, to either a different color lure or if you were casting constantly Rot. There we go. If you were casting constantly there, try a different spot, move a couple of meters, go uh, go try here. Uh, also fast forward time by an hour, uh, go stand on, on the different pack, on the different spot, try uh, a different couple of fishes. Um, so at level 8, level 9, my recommendation would be to fish for perch, uh, redfin pickerel here, you could also already try your hand at walleye and then here the young um, northern pike and if you've leveled up to say level uh, 10 uh, and you can get better b uh, gear in the store uh, check it out uh, see what kind of gear there is especially reels is uh, something that you need to watch out for uh, and line the weight of uh, the line uh, how much it can handle um, I think there's not many reels that you can get. I think that will be level 11. But uh, anyways, um, the more power you can have, the better it is. Um, so uh, don't don't get upset if you lose like 10 spoons. Um, it's something that just happens on uh, on these levels. What you can always do is go back to either Missouri or Texas. It's something that you will do uh, from now on. You'll hop places constantly. 
Um, so if, if it doesn't work out here, go back to Missouri or Texas, uh, fish there for a couple of days, then come back here to New York, fish a couple of days here, and so on and so forth. Um, it's really nice fishing here, I really like the place, but it's also because I love pike, uh, the way they, uh, they battle, they fight. But um, okay, I've talked enough for now, I'm going to pause the video, and then uh, in a few moments I'll uh, continue showing you guys the catches, and then I'll wrap it up. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you guys a lot of caught so far. Now I was pretty unlucky to uh, um, not catch a walleye. I don't know what uh, what went wrong there. I tried all kinds of lures and different places, um, but it didn't uh, work somehow. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, that's fine. So my reward for today, 128 bucks, um, I nearly filled my stringer, uh, it's already past 9pm right now so I'm not going to catch anything anymore. Uh, here, uh, first off I caught a black crappie uh, with dough balls, uh, then I caught a couple of yellow perches and I caught a whole bunch more than uh, they're showing right now, it's because I released them. Uh, yellow perch is like the vermin in, uh, in this river or in this lake, you are going to catch them uh, regardless of what type of spoon as you can see. And I also caught a couple of, uh, of them on uh, red worms too and uh, oh well. Then I had um, uh, the red fin pickerels. Uh, it took me a while before I caught them, uh, eventually they uh, Liked, uh, seemed to prefer the, to like the red spoon, uh, medium spoon, even though it was uh, very sunny. Um, so uh, prior to that I tried uh, this one, uh, the golden one, the silver one, the different casting spoons, but I never caught them until I used the red one. Uh, but that's for today, tomorrow can be a whole different ball game. Then a couple of grass pickerel, trophy as well and chain pike and I was very lucky to catch a trophy chain as well. Um, normally it would break your line with uh, uh, a current setup and here are the pikes and, now, and this I was extremely lucky with because it was a bit bugged. What I did it was like going like that constantly up and down up and down up and down and um, so I was very lucky to be able to reel this one in uh, otherwise I think it would have just run off like crazy. Um, as you can see the northern pike if you want to catch the adults you can also on a number 1.0 spoon but uh, with a 2.0 you are guaranteed uh, to catch these and with um, trophy chain pikes uh, in general it also goes if you use the 2.0 spoon, uh, spoons you're more likely to catch uh, the chain and the uh, trophy, even though uh, here, uh, here I had one on the 2.0, but the uh, 1.0 works uh, works good as well. So let's uh, check the re rewards now for the experience points. Note that you have to divide them by two. It's because I'm a premium member, so I get 50% extra. Uh, the rewards are still the same. Uh, so first off, crappy it's between 2 and 3 bucks, sometimes 4 if you catch a large one. Uh, and that will be trophy I think, that will be 4 or 5 bucks and experience is free. Uh, yellow perch it's uh, between 4 and uh, 6, 6 is a general reward that you catch for, get for them. And experience points of 6. Whereas the trophy you get a reward of 14 with uh, quite nice experience actually. And I had to um, release one because uh, I only had a kilogram left on my line or on my stringer. And I still had to catch a, I had to catch a walleye which didn't happen eventually but uh, still. Uh, so experience point wise it's uh, 38 points that uh, this one is giving. It's close to a kilo. So it's, uh, that's awesome. Then the <coughs> trophy redfin pickerel. Now it's not paying much, uh, 10 and experience points for are 14 but it's also still better than the general which is only 4 with an experience of 6. Uh, grass pike, uh, they are the smallest uh, pike around here so uh, the reward is the smallest as well. 
only three bucks and experience of four and the uh, trophy pays a bit better uh, eight bucks in this case with an experience of eight now then of course the chain uh, pickerel they pay a bit better and experience wise they are a bit better as well now here I have one with a six but this is a very small one six bucks and experience of fifteen but as you can see here we have one close to uh, 900 grams it gives already 9 bucks with an experience of 22 points and then the trophy gives you 15 bucks not very much but still it gives 27 uh, experience points so that's uh, that's great so if you want to level up um, at level 8 and 9 I still suggest to go after the grass pickerel red fin uh, purchase and stuff like that but once you reach level 10 uh, go uh, take a spoon 2.0 and go after the chain and uh, northern pike because as you can see here they uh, reward pretty uh, good as well so first the northern pike the grown one the adult one uh, 24 bucks awesome to have those in uh, in your pocket and uh, experience of 41 points now note this is a 1.6 uh, it's not one of the biggest, uh, it's, it's an average one that I caught here. So uh, 41 experience points and expect them to be much higher when you get 1.8 or 1.9 kilogram northern pike. And then the young northern pike they have a reward of 9 bucks uh, in this case. Is and experience points of uh, 11 and 10 and a half that would be. So um, all in all, this uh, that's about uh, fishing. Now there was uh, one point I think I forgot to uh, to mention to you guys, and that's uh, the other spot for walleye. I did mention that um, it was bugged. Uh, well, not bugged. It was fixed actually. Uh, what you had to do was uh, cast all the way over here and at least 67 meters out. Uh, nowadays you can't do it anymore. Uh, unless you put a very light line on a very heavy reel then it's still possible to uh, reach the 67 meters so uh, if you're higher up in level and um, you want to try it out uh, go ahead so the tree the big tree over here it's the mark where you need to be and then it's either on the left side a little or a little on the right side where you can uh, you can cast and then uh, reel back into about uh, what was it about 50 meters uh, right now I can cast only 50 meters out so it's uh, not something uh, I can do so 67 is uh, is the number that you uh, need to keep in mind for it and I think that's uh, pretty much it so as you can see it's uh, dark and empty and I'm heading home uh, and off to bed <laughs> It's, uh, it's very late here. So um, anyways, I'm uh, going to say goodbye to you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, post them below or uh, poke me in game. My name is uh, The Lady and my uh, two other accounts are The Lady 2 and The Lady 3. So uh, just add me on your friends list and uh, give me a poke when, uh, when you see me around. Um, okay, for now, happy days, tight lines, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.